Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. Today I am standing inside our high tunnel and uh, I just realized I was working outside in the field with Adrian before he had to go to the farmer's market and I was going to do some work in here. And I just realized that I haven't showed you guys the high tunnel in quite some time. The tomato, we started picking tomatoes on May 27th. I think we picked our first tomato and today is like June 8th or 9th. So we've already picked close to 100 pounds of tomatoes out of here. And... Um, I did film some clips of me tying the tomatoes earlier, and uh, I just now, since there's a lot of fruit on them, the, the trellis needs to be really strong, and since I was scared to penetrate the pipe from underneath, I didn't beat in the, the trellis pipes too and too good, and as you guys can see here, the, 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 the trellis is leaning over, so I just came through and uh, I trellised everything up so it could be easy to walk through here, because there's a ton, just, just these tomato plants are just loaded with tomato plants, just with tomatoes, look at that, just, that's why I love these determinate varieties, because it's just clusters and clusters and clusters of clusters of tomatoes, and we did have a little bit of um, a white fly issue, and um, some, I uh, had some problems with some, uh, I think it was some uh, army worms or caterpillar worms or something eating inside the fruit, so I did have to spray some, uh, you know, insecticides in here, but now I gotta go through and pick the tomatoes, so you guys stay tuned for that. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video. Don't forget to hit that bell notification bell every um, every time so you guys can be notif notified whenever I do post a video. And I'm going to come here and pick some tomatoes. There's a lot, a lot of nice, nice ones in here. So I'm going to get to picking tomatoes. You guys stay tuned. It's uh, going to be a little tomato -y in here today. So I'm going to keep showing you guys these clusters of tomatoes. They are just loaded. And some of these still have to grow. But see, there's some few nice, nice red ones back there. And some more over there. They're just full, full, full of tomatoes. But this is, this is, look at this tomato right here. It is, that's going to be close to two pound tomato right there. So it's just, we got some more. I'm telling you, tomatoes are now it's starting to set on. And whenever I was trellising, some tomatoes did fall off. So we're going to sell these as green tomatoes. I'll just come through and pick these, so it's just full, 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 full of tomatoes. And the nice thing about these determinate varieties is the plants don't really get any bigger than this. This is like fully, fully mature size. Here's some more Carolina Golds up there. They still need to get big and full and mature, so. It is just loaded and loaded and loaded with tomatoes. Alrighty. So uh, I just got done picking maters. The reason we have some green ones is because while I was staking them, they fell down. I had a tomato standing outside, but it started raining. So this is it. This is our uh, third picking. This is close to another 70 pounds there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomatoes looking good. There's a lot of green ones still coming on. Just a ton of green ones. So exciting stuff. Tomato plants are uh, starting to produce like crazy. So, let's look at that. Beautiful goodness. Gotta go in the warehouse now and wipe them down. But other than that, they're just nice and pretty. Not a single scratch. There's a few of them that, like this one right here, That's how, that. this is the reason I sprayed. Because this little army worm or something ate that. I just picked it before it rots. So probably that's the number two tomato right there. So just cut that out and the tomato is still fine. It's just the customers, my customers just like these nice pretty, pretty ones. You guys see that ring there? I think that's either phosphorus or potassium. It's not, can't be potassium deficiency, but it still tastes good. Beautiful tomatoes. So. So now I'm in the warehouse and uh, I can wash the tomatoes and stuff, but that's too much of a hassle for now. So what I'm doing, I got this rag here, nice clean rag, and I get them, make sure all, make sure, I'm, make sure they're all shiny and uh, nice and clean. And once they're dead, then I inspect them, look at them, 
this is perfect tomato so it's going in the number one box I'm going to do all that for all these so scrub them off nice and clean there put them in here so I'm going to go ahead and do all of these that one is still a number one that's uh looks like stink bug damage so I, I just sprayed some must uh some mustang max on those and should get rid of that problem that's still a number one though so and what i do i like taking off the stems i try doing this in the in, in the field or in the high tone as much as possible but it's not always i don't always take them all off so i take them off and just throw them in the bottom of the crate there and just takes you know time and patience this one wasn't quite ready yet but it'll still sell tomorrow so nice and perfect maters scrub them off just like that and make sure there's not much on there so and for me a second tomato has to be really beat up or has a big hole in it or something so see like that right there I'm not even gonna put it on the shelf tomorrow it has this tiny hole in there but we'll keep it for ourselves put it in the canners box if we have canners but still a little too early in the season to have canners in second so I'm probably just gonna put them on these number one box and sell them just like that tomorrow After we get done wiping them, look how shiny they are, just beautiful. We do have a lot of LED bars up there, but they're just perfect, beautiful tomatoes. And this is what I was telling you guys about, the bug that's been eating inside the tomatoes. This is just one of them. I only picked four. I only found four today. that are eating up, but four out of that many. It's not such a big deal, but I went ahead and sprayed anyways. Because I could have made money on this one, but now we either got to eat them or throw them away. So this is the nice. We have about, give or take, 70 pounds here. One of these crates holds whenever it's full. And the reason we don't stack them higher because when I go to the farmer's market in the truck, I stack these, you know, with, we put our bread and stuff in these crates too. So, uh, I, like, we, I, don't like to, I don't like to smush any of them. So, but I'm just going to probably leave these in the store, just eat them tonight or something. And I'm only going to take number one tomatoes to the market tomorrow. So, then of course we have our green ones there. There's very few people who love the green tomatoes. But, take we got a whole row of the Carolina Golds. But six rows of the red deuce, and these are all nice, beautiful red deuce. So just look at that. If I was a customer, I would only buy tato, uh, tomatoes for me. So now I just cut up a uh, a tomato. This was one, the one of the bad ones. I just want to show you guys that, and I want to try some. I'm standing in here in, in our commercial kitchen. We have a commercial commercial kitchen here on the farm. My older sister, she's a pastry chef, so she makes all kinds of these homemade danishes pastries all kinds of good stuff so anyways back to the tomatoes i'm gonna go ahead and try one of these and see how it tastes let's see what we got here oh my god mm. Mm -mm -mm. it cannot beat the flavor of a farm fresh tomato mm. oh my goodness people say that an indeterminate tomato plant makes better tomatoes I want to put money down. That is not true. The indeterminants, man. This red deuce, best tomato out there. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm going to finish off this whole tomato before I get done here. Alrighty, so that is uh, pretty much it for today. I'm standing back, back in here in the high tunnel. Just double checking the rows because on these determinants, it's really easy to miss a ripe tomato or so. But these right here, these are going to be ready on uh, Tuesday. I usually pick two days a week, Tuesdays mornings and then Friday mornings. So it's just coming through here. I come through here, you know, just to inspect them, see what the quality quality of the fruit is. But as you guys can see here, there's just a ton of nice number one tomatoes just right here. Just they're just loaded. I mean, they're in, in, underneath here, just covered with tomatoes. Even I mean, you guys already see this stuff. And some of these they're gonna get to full size anyway, but. It's just a matter of feeding them the right nutrients and making sure they are growing the girl right. So we picked close to 70 pounds today. 
inside inside here today and um I'm gonna show you guys uh, our second, you know, the the high tunnel behind the greenhouse. They've they've back there. They've got some pretty good fruit on them. I've been staking those. I still need to stake that row of Carolina Gold, but you know, just a matter of maintaining them. You know, a lot of people, whenever they get done planting, they just think you know it's just a matter of coming through and um, making sure just coming to pick fruit. But you got to come through, maintain them, stake them up, make sure you're feeding them right, make sure you inspect them. So it's just. It's just the the matter of growing tomatoes if you, if you want a nice quality number one tomato at the at your farmer's market. So that is pretty much it for today. I staked the tomatoes, and which I'm gonna have to do if we keep feeding them with a lot more nitrogen. And uh, I picked our one of the that's our I think third or fourth harvest for this year already. And there's gonna be a lot more. Um, my goal, like I told you guys before, is at least 10,000 pounds of tomatoes out of here. So that is pretty much it for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead hit that subscribe button like this video if you guys have any questions comments anything leave them down in the description box below i want to say thanks for watching up to this point and if you guys have anything you know any questions comments anything or you know and a lot of people come it comes down to price you know they're probably gonna ask me what price to sell these at at the farmer's market we sell them right now that we're selling them for 350 a pound on our nice number ones and then once once the field tomatoes come in and for us you know if if you plant early enough outside the field tomatoes come in about around fourth of july weekend and then we drop down to three dollars a pound on our, on our on our number ones, and then our seconds we sell them at two dollars a pound year round. We don't change the price for our seconds. And for our canners, whenever we do um, get a lot of canners in, we usually sell a 25, 25 pound box for depends on the quality of them, fifteen to twenty dollars. So you know it's just a matter of knowing what your market is asking for. We have the demand, and our customers don't really complain about the price at three fifty a pound. We have a few customers that say they get it cheaper, but you know, whenever they come and buy one of my tomatoes, they come back every week just because the quality and, and the flavor and the taste. So that's the price and stuff we sell, Matt. And uh, it's just enough of me talking here. But I want to say thanks for watching one last time. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like this video. If you guys have any questions like that, leave them down in the description box below or in the comment section below. And I want to say uh, you guys have a good day and we'll see you next time.